Hey, David here. How's everyone doing? So here in part three of the tree branch carving series, I uh, thought I'd talk about what we got here so far. This is a branch from a Bohemia orchid tree as far as I know. Also known as a poor man's orchid tree or butterfly tree. Uh, the first video we did this squirrel carving. And then the second one was the owl. So I'm not sure yet how to paint these or finish them. But for part three here, I want to do a mushroom home. Mm, probably right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll sketch in it a little bit darker. Maybe have some steps. And then after that carving, I may want to do a few other things down on these little branch offs maybe a lizard uh, so in the comments let me know what do you think I should carve after this mushroom house and uh, how should I paint it or finish it all right so I have my Fordham SR series and my Dremel 4300 all hooked up with some cut saw burrs got one extreme flame burr and a taper burr extreme uh, if you want to get some of these cut saw burrs you can check out uh, cutsaw.com you can use code CLEAVEBW and save yourself 5%. Let's get to carving this mushroom house. Let's uh, see how I can do this. And I uh, hope you guys like the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get to carving. All right, so I've got this, so I've got this nice piece. Here we go, the squirrel. And we got the owl. Uh, this eye might be a little bigger, but that's okay. Alright, so let's see how we can do this little mushroom house here. I don't know how to do steps. And then maybe leave some room for some other carvings. Or maybe a lizard, frog, something. Let me know in the comments. I don't know if I should have the door on this side. And some like spiraling steps. There's a door right here. Some steps right here to the lizard or whatever we decide to carve there maybe have like some leaves and vines going all the way around this piece it's just a work in progress uh, just let me know in the comments what you think is the best we have this rough mushroom here and have this little mushroom sticking out on the side here this mushroom roof I kind of want this a little bit forward and this a little bit more back then you can see a little bit of the under of the mushroom top here and just look at it you know sit back look at it think about it some more and then I'll get right back to you guys all right so I got something like this I put the door right here some steps I figured that on the way. I haven't really done steps before. So I want to carve on the outside and kind of round these parts. And then I'll start making the depth of how I want the house. And then the little windows here. And a little doorknob, flower doorknob. I want to put this a little bit back so the door's not so sticking out. Let's get to it. Get the dust mask, safety glasses. I'll start off with the uh, cut saw taper burr extreme 1 8 on the Dremel 4300 with the flex draft. And I'll have to turn on my dust deputy, my dust collection, on a little sanding box.
All right, as you can see, I'm going now around the mushroom. I'm gonna refine it a little bit some more, and I'll be right back and show you how the progress is going. Here's what we have so far. I drew in some more of the details, just to keep keep yourself knowing where you want to carve. I want to go do some more depth, go more deeper. Uh, start. Uh, shaping out the door, see how my steps try and give it a little bit of a 3D effect on the steps. Work in progress. So I'm using the extreme flame burr and the taper burr cut saw. I'll be right back. About an hour and a half. This is where we're at. So I kind of want to do some overlapping just a little bit on these. And have this come out some more. And just blend it in. Sink this door in some more. And pop up a little edge here. And I drew in some of these round rocks. I'm trying to figure out how to do these stairs. Don't have that much depth. Just gonna go in deeper here to bring it in. And I can bring it out a little bit.
All right, so this is what we have so far on the mushroom house. I'm gonna work on the stairs. I'm gonna add a little balcony. And just work all this in. I'm gonna use a cut saw fine flame burr. Just start cleaning a lot of this up. Carve this a little bit in so this stuff can stick out a little bit more. And just really refine everything. So let me get that done and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I got into a little bit of a carving mode. So I got all this done. I went back to the uh, Cut Saw Extreme Flame Burr. So got some more uh, depth into this. Got these stairs going around. Got this little cave with a little edge. Just right here. So now I want to uh, smooth this out a little bit more. And then start uh, putting in like the stones I have some stone stairs and I carve this in here I'm put this little piece of wood as like a hinge so that's where we're at All right so I did some sanding and smoothing everything out now I'm gonna put in this door hinge and glue it up with some Starbond CA glue and some wood glue I'm gonna stick that thing in there then I'll shape it up I'm gonna kind of just draw in some of the rocks and then I'm gonna leave that for another time and then we're gonna carve something here on the next video so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when that video comes out alrighty guys so let's glue this on Alright guys, so this door hinge thing is still drying up. I drew in all the bricks and the and the rocks and stones. And I got some of the the vine, tree vine. So that's gonna be it for this uh, mushroom house video of the carving. So we're gonna continue on this tree branch carving series. Alright guys, so until next time, we will catch you later.